Hi, I'm going to show you how to anchor images, text, and shapes to your master slides in Google Slides using theme. You can see here on this slide, I've got a picture. It is not editable and not draggable. This one as well, the text also is not editable or draggable, but the little images are. I'm going to show you how to anchor these two images and the text. And this next slide, I've got a Venn diagram. The shapes aren't editable or draggable, but the students can still write in the text boxes. So first, we need to go into the themes. We get there from slide and edit theme. This is going to take you into the back end of your Google Slides where you can edit the slide masters. This is the main master that controls all of the fonts and themes. But down here, what I want to do is make a new slide that's blank and add elements to it. So this is the slide that I'm going to copy. I am going to add a new blank slide. And that blank slide I am going to add my elements to so that they're locked. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some text. I'm going to add an actual text box on here, not placeholder text. That's what I want the instructions to look like on the page, and they will be not editable now. And I'm going to add two images. So I'm going to insert images from my drive. Okay, I've got the images and the text on here now. They're the right size and they're in the right place. It looks just like this one, basically. Now when I close my theme, I can add a new custom layout right here. These are not editable because I added them on the master and that's what I want. Now it looks just like this one, but without all these draggable images, which are just normal images that are not anchored. Now I'm going to go in and add a Venn diagram. So I'm going to go back into the themes. Here in the themes, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to duplicate a blank slide. And on this blank slide, I am going to add the shapes that I want. Okay, and I, now I want the text on the top. So I'm going to make a text box, not a placeholder, an actual text box. And I want the text for the labels on here too. So I'm going to put a text box over here. Okay, so these are my static elements that I don't want to move when I put them um, onto the main slide. These I want to stay in the same place so they can put some text boxes in where students can write. So now I've got this here on my master slides. It's its own slide. I can choose it from the menu. I'm going to get out here and now I can add a slide and I can add that custom one that I just added right here. So now I've got this slide and as you can see I can't edit any of the elements here. Students can't edit or drag those shapes. So if I have some text boxes that I add inside the masters, then I can put the text boxes here. Students can type in it and they're not going to mess up my shapes or mess up any of the text that's already here.